Hey everybody, welcome back. Time for another Halloween project. I know you're probably getting sick of them by now, but I still have paper left, so I'm still going. Um, today we're going to do an accordion style book. This is not new. This is no, it's not invented by me. So many people have done these. It's just folding paper in a certain way, and you'll see as we get to it. Um, so the first thing we're going to work on is the base of the book. So let's not even worry about these measurements and everything that's over here for right now. Let's worry about our base. So our base, we need three pieces of eight and a half by six and a quarter, and we're going to score them at four and a quarter. Now, let me give you a little bit of advice. I purchased a pack of black paper that said it was eight and a half by 11 from Hobby Lobby, black. Um, so when I started to do this project and I scored at four and a quarter, this should have been completely folded in half. There shouldn't have been any overlap on any um, sides, but there was, and I thought that was weird. So I took, the pe I took another piece of paper out and measured it, and it was larger than eight and a half. So just pay attention to that. I don't know if it was a glitch on that paper that I bought, but I would hate for you to, to cut everything and then realize that, no, that really isn't the measurement, because that's exactly what happened to me. Um, so just check it because I did have to go back and remeasure these and cut them down. And there was a, like a strip that had to come off of each of these in order to make this eight and a half. So just to let you know. So we have three, again, eight and a half by six and a quarter, and we're scoring it in the middle at four and a quarter. And then we have two connector pieces, and you'll see how those are going to work in a minute. And these are six and a quarter that doesn't look right mm, we're having a problem here already six and a quarter by one okay those are not right so all right let's just do it together um so much for prepping again guys <laughs> i wonder what happened with these two all right well let me get rid of them because i don't want to have them confusing me with um, anything else. So let me take my paper cutter out and we'll just cut two pieces. I wonder what happened with that. So this is six, six and a quarter because they need to be the same length as your book. All right, by one. So we'll just do it together. I hate doing these one inch cuts and I know you can do it on the reverse side but I get confused so all right so here's the right size paper now okay and then let me get my scoreboard out because we are going to have to score these sorry about that I should have seen I mean that was such a difference in size but it's okay so now we'll take these and we're going to score these at half an inch because these are going to be our our joining pieces. And I do believe that May has the scoreboards and the scoring tools. So you'll be all set to go. Okay. All right, crisis averted. Already starting with an issue. This is how this is what happens when I try to prepare. Sometimes I think I'm better off just like winging the whole thing. <laughs> All right, so now we have two, and see they're the same length as this now six and a quarter by one, and we scored it half an inch. These we're going to um, fold over them you know we're gonna I like to do both sides 
and I should be using my nice bone folder here. I like this one. This is a Teflon bone folder, and I believe May has them in craftingonabudgetstore.com. So if you were so inclined and you need a bone folder, this one is awesome. I love it. It works so good. Okay, so all right, we have our connecting pieces, and I've already scored all of these in half to save a little time. So now I'm going to show you how to connect it all together. We're going to use our art glitter glue. Hopefully, hopefully we're not going to have a problem with it. <laughs> I don't think so. I think the problem was me. All right, so I'm going to put glue on one side. I'm not putting glue on the other side yet unless you guys are really confident with gluing. And what you're going to do is you're going to take just one of the pages and you are going to glue this up to the score line. Not over the score line because you need the score line to still bend, but you're going to glue it up to the score line. And then we're going to take the glue again. And we're basically going to do the same thing on the next page so that we can, we're connecting these pages in a long piece. And we'll take this one, trying not to get it to the score line. There we go. I just want to make sure that's still going to bend. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that glue dried too. Let's see, this glue dries really quick. That's okay. We'll just uh, add some more. Not a problem. Now we have one more connector and one more piece. So we'll connect the next one and then we'll have one giant piece. And we need this one giant piece in order to make the accordion fold. And you'll see that in like literally a minute. All right, let's see. There we go. Okay, so I didn't go over the score line there. Move this down. All right, put some more glue. And once we get this all settled, then you'll see that it will be more manageable on my desk, but we just have to get it all together first. And let's just make sure that it did not go over the score line and it did. Okay, so now we have this long piece of paper and I'm going to flip it over so that our joints are facing up. I think it will be um, better than having them facing out. It doesn't really matter to be honest because you're going to see both sides of this accordion. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start folding my paper in and out. Again, this is just like an accordion. Okay. So what's going to happen is we're going to be able to open this book like so. And then once we get to the back cover, we're going to be able to look at this side. Isn't that so neat? Okay. All right. Next step is the pages. You are going to need 11 four by six pages. And you're also going to need an additional one. And that's why I didn't write 12 on here. I wrote it as cover four by six because you have to figure out what you want on your cover because this top part is your cover. Okay. So however you guys want to um, do that is up to you. Yeah, it zooms in a little bit. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first do my cover. And I am using the art glitter glue. And 
this might be easier to do it this way for me. And I'm just going to try to center that as best as possible because it is going to have like, it, it's going to look like it's matted. All right. And then let's start with my pages. And again, we have 11 four by six pages. My paper is dwindling down, guys. <laughs> I think we're going to get one more project out of it. And I want to get it done before Halloween, of course. So hopefully we'll have one more project. And then we will work next on our Christmas. Our beautiful Christmas papers. Um, so that's, that's the plan. This is so cute. Where do you see this all done? You're going to say, oh, it's so stinking cute. And we've used a lot of paper because don't forget that explosion, that triple explosion box took a lot of paper. Oh, it's a good thing that dripped there. All right. So here we go. Okay. I put them in order so that there wouldn't be, um, I don't think there's any repeats. No, there's no repeats. Um, you know, front and back because some of these have a a pattern on the back so I kind of put stack them up so that I could you know do them the right way okay. all right now we're coming to the back cover or the back piece and this piece is the only thing that we have to do something different with. And what we have to do different with this is we have to add some type of ribbon, uh, seam, I'm going to use seam binding. Um, we need to add enough so that it's going to go around the whole book. So I'm going to cut a fairly big piece because I can always trim it, but I can't add more. Okay, so there's my seam binding. Oh, and May is getting seam binding in, so how exciting is that? All right, so I just want to find the middle piece. Now, because this is a mat, I can't glue this seam binding. I mean, I guess I could put it straight across. I could do that. Let me have a little thing for a second here. Yeah, I guess I could. Um, so I'm just picking like what I think is the middle. Doesn't have to be the middle, but I'm going to put my seam binding down and I'm not worrying about the art glitter glue because it does dry clear. So don't be freaking like, Oh no, it's, you could see white cause you're not going to see that. And then I'm going to put this, I think this is how it was supposed to go. And how's this supposed to go like no this is how it's supposed to go so now i'm going to put this piece on top i guess because it's black on black you can't see it but if you were using another color you may just want to put it behind your mat only because it might not look right it might not stay in place so okay so now we have that so this is basically how it looks so far. Here's our, here's where we would, you know, put our bow or whatever we're going to do. And now we have our pages, our back cover. And now our back cover is going to flip. And now we're going to do the whole other side. So you have a lot of space on this, which is awesome to be able to put photos you can I mean this would be so cute to put in your kids Halloween costume photos in 
Um, but again, I, I want, I repeat myself. Um, just remember guys, don't just look at this project for Halloween. I'm making a Halloween project. This could be for a birthday. This could be for, um, valentine's day this could be for christmas you know this does not have to be for what i'm making it to be um we're just happening to looks like there's a little ed light edge on that i want to get rid of we just happen to be doing halloween right now but this project will lend itself to anything that you want to do So please don't just think Halloween. I want you to think of all the different ways that you can use this. Oh, got a little glue there. Because it's um, it's amazing. The, this is so much fun. And to do this with um, pictures for a grandparent, um, you know, of all your kids, um, wouldn't, wouldn't that be such a special little gift? There we go. And now we should be back to the cover. So basically we've covered, I'll open it, both sides. I don't know, it doesn't fit into frame. All right. Now, get that out of the way. The next thing we want to do is create pockets so that we can tuck some stuff in. So for your pockets, you're going to need six of them at two by four. Let's hope that measurement's right. Um, and all you're going to do for your pockets, yes, that's right, is, you know, glue on either edge and around. Um, the bottom. So let's see. I'm, I'm going to put a pocket here. And there we go. Put a pocket here. I'm going to skip that one. And I don't want to put that seam. I'm just playing with the pieces here. I'm going to put a pocket here. And we're not putting a ton of stuff in these pockets, so that's why there's no gusset. There's no, you know, adding an extra half an inch on each side and folding it in. You know, we're not going to be loading these up. And I think I'll put a pocket on this one. Yeah. Okay, not putting anything on the back cover. Here we go, flippy flippy. Let's put this one on here. I'm just move this up a little bit. I didn't realize you couldn't really see what I was doing. I'm sure you got the drift, but it's so hard to. Maybe I should zoom back out. Oh, look at that. Didn't know I could do this, guys. Okay. All right. So there, that's better. All right. Um, should we do one here? I don't think I'm going to have two. I don't, I don't think I want to pocket on this final page because this is my cover. So I'm going to just use five of them. But you can use however many that you want. But I, I'm going to take a pass on that. And just do five. Oh, 
There we go. Nice. Okay. Now, next I was thinking, why don't we put some decorations on these pockets? And we have, I have set up some little ephemera um, from the 6x6. Six six. So I thought, you know, we could, you know, do do something cute like that before we even put something into the pocket. And I like that already. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. And then I'm just going to glue the bottom part of this down onto my pocket. So I'm just decorating my pocket. I just think it needs a little something something, even though we know we're going to tuck something in there too. I just think it's cute. This way. Yeah. And again, use your imagination. Uh, you know, I have so many little pieces left, so that's what I'm trying to, you know, use up my little pieces and you know, just make it really sweet. Okay. And then this one says, I might just put that one straight in the middle because then you could write on it if you want. And notice I'm only gluing on the bottom half because we don't want glue on the top here to, um, in fact, I'll put some glue up here. We don't want glue on the top of our card because then nothing can fit inside. All right, there's our back cover. Let's flip. Let's decorate another tag. Yep. This is the fun part. Now, you don't want to get too, too chunky. Um, I'm going to put flowers on my cover, but I'm not putting them in the book because it's going to get too chunky and then it's not going to sit right. You know what I mean? So that's one thing you want to, you might want to keep in mind. Good. I could finally use this. I'm so excited. Okay, so that was it on the um, tags. Now, for these pages, it's all going to depend on what you are going to want to do with your books. Um, I think these are going to be too, way too big, but let me just say, yeah, because those are the same size. Um, but I do have some cutouts. Like here, I can put that one on there. I have our 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 little witch. I'm definitely going to use her. I don't know if I'll use that. You know, I have to use this one. Um, so you can just start adding onto these pages anything that you would like. Because I'm not putting pictures, I'm gonna I'm gonna add stuff like this because this is just a cute little Halloween book. If my daughter wants to add some pictures, she can put them in the pockets. Um, look at that. That's so cute. And I don't like the way that edges either. So hold on. And I may have to open up another piece of... Um, cut apart sheets because I like this size but we'll see go ahead put her there see we could add like cute little stuff like that little boo next to her yeah that's cute just add a little more glue down here. I don't want the glue to be busting out. And then on this one, 
We could put our cat. I like that. So now's the time we'll be using some of the journaling cards as well. Um, they're going to go in the pockets. They're going to go on the pages, as you can see. All right, there's our back. I'm not putting anything on the back cover. I love this. I put a spell on you. Now, maybe I'll do that as a tuck spot. Yeah, let's do that one as a tuck spot. And maybe we'll tuck something in there. So see, I only glued the bottom and the side. And the reason for that is then I can tuck something just like that. I'll probably tuck more than one thing in there. Oh, I love this little girl, but she's too dark. Use that one. Oh, wicked. Mm -hmm. This is when the video gets long. <laughs> This is when we have our problems, guys. <laughs> there we go. All right. That's cute. Um, and then I did use a bingo card already. Maybe they should use her with the potions. But let me just make sure. There's not one I like better. No. All right. I like her. So we'll use her. Her there. This would also be really cool, just thinking of it, this would also be really cool if you did it this way and you put recipes on each page for the holidays. So keep that in mind, you know, when you're thinking of orientation and, and that kind of thing. That says wicked, so I'll leave it. Oh, I do have a broom. I am going to add the broom. This was part of the ephemera kit. I don't have very much left. I think I have a couple of candy corns and a heart or something left. But we can add her broom. There we go. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Okay. All right. So the next thing we have is these tags. Oh, I love this too. Where can I put this? Well, I might put this in a pocket somewhere, so I'm not going to worry about that yet. Um, I even have these from the 12 by 12 sheet that I'm probably going to add to the actual, um, look at this. I think that's going to go on my cover. But I think my cover is going to need a mat, so I'm probably going to have to cut another piece of paper. But I love that. I do. I think that is so cute. Uh, so let me set that aside so I don't forget. But anyway, you should cut four three and a quarter by six inch tags if you would like to add tall tags into your book. And because we are, we're also going to need four three by five and three quarters for the mats on these. So that's what that's all about. So let me just mat these real quick. one at a time here. There's one tag. We're going to, of course, decorate these before they go in. So I see a lot of people are already decorating for Christmas. Um, I've seen a lot of people posting that their trees are up already. I'd love to know how early you put your tree up. I usually put my tree up 
or trees, I should say. The week before Thanksgiving is seems to work really good for me. Um, but I was wondering when you guys did yours. Now, I thought I had some ribbon, and I do. I found some Halloween ribbon at um, Dollar Tree. So, I'm probably going to use that and staple some ribbon to the top of these. So, let me just get my stapler. I do have the Tim Holtz one, but I um, ran out of staples. So, we're just going to have to go with what I have. But, I did find two cute ones. One's a little skull and one is really Halloween, I like. So, I figure we'll use this for the top of our tags and we'll just staple them on. Not a problem. And then once we get our tags in, then we can fill the rest of the pockets. We can do our cover and this project will be done. In fact, I think for Christmas we'll make a recipe one. Because I love the idea of a recipe one. I really do. Let's see. Twist that. Like that. So it goes like that. And again, I'm just going to come in with my stapler. This is just a regular stapler and staple it. Cute. You could angle these. Um, I don't know if my, yeah, that'll cut it. That's one. So I'll do two with this ribbon and two with the other. And I think I cut that one too short. Maybe not. If this runs out of staples, then we have a problem. <laughs> I'm just angling the tops. That's two. And then let's move that out of the way. Let's get our scary skull one, which my daughter will love. My daughter has all of these projects in her room already. <laughs> so, if you're wanting to know if she likes them, there's your answer. She loves them. But I think, I don't know, I think the explosion box is her favorite still. Um... I also think she really loved the little mini book. I think she thought that was so super cute. All right, let's move that over to the side. Let's cut, let's get this. I'm just twisting it a little bit because I want the ribbon to be, you know, it's not double sided ribbon. So, oh, in there. There we go. All right, so there's our tags. And now we could decorate our tags with some cute stuff, which I love. So, uh, there we go. See, I like that. And I'm going to make it like a pocket so that if I wanted to stick something in there, I could. I'm probably not going to, but I'm not going to seal this all the way down. Just in case. So I'm just kind of putting that one there. I like that. And then you could put, yeah, I'll put that in there. I wasn't going to do that, but now that I did it, I like it. This witch's brew has a little white on it, so let me just chop that off. 
I think that looks cute with the potions. Still a little too wide. Let's see. Yeah, these are a little wide. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mark it. Do I want to make these all pockets? I don't know, guys. I don't think so. This is going to be too big in there. That's good. So I can put this one on there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make them all pockets. I think one was enough. Okay, so that's one tag, two tag. Let's see what we have for this tag. Oh, these are just such sweet cut-aparts. I might have to make it a little smaller, but I do... Like, look at the haunted house. Haunted. Let me see. Trying to carefully cut straight. Ah, good. I am going to make this one a pocket because I like this wanted card. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. But I like it a lot. Look at this little ghost. Oh my gosh, this little ghost is so cute. This little ghost would be really cute if I cut him out. Put him at the bottom. If I fussy cut him. I'm just cutting the bulk away first. That's how I fussy cut. You guys see I use my big scissors for fussy cutting. I do have the little ones. The little ones, I don't know. They hurt my hands. But I'm probably going to have to go back in with the little ones because I can't get into that. Or with an X-Acto knife because I can't get into that tiny space. There's just no way. Not with this. Not with this scissors. I just love this guy. He's so cute. All right, let me get my tiny scissors. My little cutter bees they'll handle the rest there we go then I was thinking wouldn't it be cute let me see this was part of the ephemera if he was holding a little trick-or-treat basket. <laughs> you can't really see the boo too much if you do that. But that is, I have to do that. <laughs> I just think that's so cute. All right, guys. You won't be able to see the boo. Unless I move him over a little bit. Am I going to move? Now, you know what I could do? I could cut this white part off a tiny bit, off of the um, ephemera piece, and then let's see, 
and the boo we could see it all right so let me glue this down carefully because i have it in place now because i wanted to see the boo oh this is so cute and then i'm just gonna stick him he'll be here floating around trick-or-treating I like that. That's so cute. And I know I'll do. I'll put a little bit of glue here just to hold his hand down because he is going to slide in and out of a pocket. So we got to be careful when we have little tiny pieces on these cut aparts to glue it down nicely. All right, now there was something. Oh, I said, what do I want to put in this pocket? And let me see, because I might be able to um, cut something down. Like I love this Hello Pumpkin. Let me see if we can cut this down. Yeah, I think we can. That's it. Ah, still need a little more. I might have to use my bone folder in this pocket, make it there we go. Now still a little bit more. You'll see as I'm doing this with this bone folder, the glue spreads out. So if you put a lot of glue on those edges, you can see how we're, this is where my glue ends. So you might want to put a thinner strip of glue. I guess I use too much glue. But that's okay. There you go. Now you're in there. I'll put it like that. Or maybe I'll just put the hello. And in there. Just like that. Okay. So now we have our tags. So now we have to figure out which tag is going to go in which pocket. I'm going to put this one in this one. There we go again. You kind of have to work your pockets a little bit after you glue them. Let me get this guy back in here because I love this guy. There we go. Not going all the way to the bottom, but that's okay. It doesn't matter to me if stuff sticks out. If it matters to you, then use a really thin amount of glue so I'm going to use two on this side even though I have another pocket here because well wait how many pockets do we do on this side I forget we did two pockets on this side. So yeah, I'll do the two on one, the other side. And then we'll put some journaling cards in. And then we're going to just work on our cover and be done. Mm -hmm. that. And this one. See, that looks so cute. All right. Now, if we want to add some journaling cards to some pockets, of course, I love the 31. I already used her. I think we used 
And we could use this one. All the pumpkins. Oh, this girl I didn't use either. And the bats. Okay. So let's see. This one. We can put her. And the bats. Yep. Okay. And then on the other side, we have stuff in that one. We have stuff in that one. Hmm. Maybe we should put a little. Yeah, I like that guy in there. And I might play with these pockets a little bit more just to get this to sit down better. But let me put the 31 in there because I like that. All right, so now here is how it's going to close. And you could, eat, I like to close it on that side. Um, so I do want to use this guy. First of all, I want to trim him up. I love this guy. I think he's so cute. But now we're going to need more paper. Oh, oh, I have these. Okay. So I can shorten this. So these were, what do we say? Uh, our 11 sheets were four by six. So this would have to be three and three quarters by five and three quarters. So I'm just layering it because I like that layered look. And three quarters. Five. Five and three quarters. Okay. That's that. So if I put that there, and then this guy here, and then I thought some, uh, flowers that would be cute i think i gotta put him on pop dots he's just dark that's that's the only thing i don't like about that but i i really like um i'm just looking through the other cards i have i do have this one this is happy halloween I might use that one, even though I just love this guy. Maybe I'll tuck him in the book. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that because it's just too, too dark. All right. So let's put this guy here. There we go. And then let me get my little pop dots and I get these from the Dollar Tree in the automotive section in case you're wondering I'm going to need my little pick to get these papers off not it'll stick all over my nails I hate that that's one thing about fabric tech I will tell you if you get it on your nails and they're polished it does take the nail polish right off yeah like this This here, I like that. Let me add some glue to my flower. I'll put one here, and I'm gonna put two up here. I like to do things in threes. Most artists will tell you that's what you should do. Everything in threes. Let's 
Oops. I'm not using the fabric tack, so I'm kind of holding it in place a little bit. I'm going to find a place for my little guy. I think he's going to go right there. Yeah. And then this is how it will close. The cute little bow. This one's a little bit too long. So we'll trim that. That one looks like it's already trimmed. Okay, so there we have it. Isn't this so cute? So then you would open it up and then here it goes. Your page one, you've got all your tags, all your little things. Page two, page three, page four, page five, page six. I love this. I'll just scoot those in there a little bit more. They look like they were falling out. Um, and then we say, oh, it's over. No, it's not. We could put this. Yeah, let's put my witch's brew on the back there. Witch's brew on the back. And then here we go. We flip. And now we have another page, another page, another one, and back to the cover. So there it is, guys, your simple accordion style book. We didn't make it too chunky, um, which is good because it, it kind of like loses something. Um, what's cute about this is you could, uh, you, see that. you could display it on a mantle, like an accordion. Um, you'd only see one side, but you could display it like that. And I think that's really sweet to, to, to look at it like that. Um, it's up to you. The only thing I might go in and do, um, I'll probably do it off camera is I don't like just seeing black here. I might want to put some things on the back. Of these tags I don't know maybe not it's not bothering me that much but that is just so cute I hope that you like this I hope you had fun watching I hope you make it again I think for Christmas we're gonna we'll do one again but I'm gonna do it a uh, landscape as a recipe book because I think that would be cute so be, we'll be on the lookout for that in the future. You, um, I was going to hang the charm. The problem is that the charm, I don't think will stay in one place. It's going to keep moving and that's going to bother me. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I, I think it looks fine like that. So I hope that you guys like this little project. It was fast and easy. Well, not too fast, but definitely easy. And we have everything all, um, all uh, measured correctly. Sorry about the beginning there with that, um, those two little pieces. Everything, you know, tends to flow. And um, I try to give you all the measurements as we go. And all you have to do is pause the video if you did not hear the measurement or you want to make sure you have the measurement. I like to write all my measurements down first. Then I like to cut my pieces and I put little post-it notes just like I show you on the video. That's how I do my, that's how I do it. Oh, I have this little spooky card. This is what I wanted to add to that back. Um, with that little girl. Hold on. Hold up. I did want to add this little this little one. There we go. I mean, you could just keep adding and adding. This, there's just, because you're going to have a lot of, you know, little scraps left over. Although, like I said, I am dwindling a little bit. <laughs> We're going to do a stuffed, um, like a stuffed envelope or whatever they call those. Um, and then that will be our final project for Halloween. 
because we will then have done the mini book, the triple explosion box. And what do we do before that? I forget what we did before that. Oh, we did the paper bag book. So, and now we did the accordion book. So I think something that is like loaded um, with stuff will be our final project. And I think I'll have just enough papers to finish that one. And that will be it. So guys, you know what I'm going to say. Stay safe. Be well. God bless you all. And bye for now.